start off, I cleansed my face with an egg white cleanser and then I went in with my Time Revolution Clear Toner by Misha and this is just to tone my face. Right before I apply my moisturizer and today I'm using the Joseon cream I'm pretty sure but I'll be sure to link all the products down below for you guys to check out. This is just a really nice gel slash water based cream that I've been using a lot lately and now I'm applying the new Laneige lip sleeping mask and this is basically a little mask that you use before you go to bed to make your lips super soft in the morning but since this is a Valentine's Day makeup look and you're probably gonna do your makeup after work or school I'm just prepping my lips before I get to them by the end of the look and then I'm going in with my VDL Lumilayer primer just to you know create a luminous base for our face makeup later on and while I let that sit I'm going to do my eyebrows and I don't really know what I was going for the day that I was filming but it's kind of light kind of natural looking eyebrows but still carved out and fleeky you know I don't really know actually but you know here here's me doing my eyebrows so yeah I don't know how to explain this ever <laughs> Then take a tinted eyebrow gel just to set all your brow hairs and keep them in place throughout the whole entire day. And we're gonna hop onto a uh, foundation, of course. And this one is the Misha Signature Cushion. And it is my current favorite cushion for the VDL Luminous Lumi Layer Primer. These two together just make my skin look super healthy and glowy, but not oily. It keeps my oils at bay still. So I've been loving this combo and I thought for a Valentine's Day look, the glow was needed. So that is what I'm doing here. And I'm just patting that in, making sure it blends throughout my whole entire face and neck. Now moving on to concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm applying it under my eyes and anywhere else on my face I need to highlight and I'm blending that all out with a clean uh, cushion puff. This one is like a different one, uh, not from a cushion, but I'm just using that to blend everything out. It's my current favorite tool to blend my under eye concealer and everything. And then to set everything, I'm using the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder and applying it under my eyes, on my nose, on my forehead, and chin just to make sure all those areas do not get oily or move around. And now I'm going into my Pony Effect Contour little palette and I'm taking the contour color and applying it to the hollows of my my cheeks to really chisel out my cheeks. Um, I know it looks quite harsh at the moment but I will be going in with a flat top kabuki brush to make sure everything is blended out and looks a little more natural. Um, I really wanted to contour for this look since the foundation makes me kind of look flat with the powder on it but um, as we move along our face will look three-dimensional at some point. And then of course brush away any excess loose powder and then I'm going to hop into blush and I'm using this pinky peach color from the Pony Effect palette and I'm applying it to the apples of my cheeks to give us a rosy glow and then I'm going in with Max Soft and Gentle to highlight my face and of course add on to the glow. We need the glow for this look. It's just really romantic looking in my opinion. All of this face makeup combo, it's my fave. And for eye makeup, we're actually just going to do eyeliner, no eyeshadow for this look because I wanted to keep it simple. But but pretty so I'm just doing a normal winged eyeliner look here um, and I'm showing you kind of step by step not really but a tutorial on eyeliner will be coming soon the easiest way possible because I'm pretty bad at it myself I can't really use any brush liners felt tip is my preference so here is my eyeliner I guess I don't know but that's the look and then we're gonna curl our eyelashes and apply mascara to our upper lashes um, I do apply it to my lower lashes later on I just forgot to film that clip but along Along with our curled eyelashes and mascara, I will be putting on falsies and I did that off camera so now you will see them in a second. They are the texture lashes from Eyelore, the 117s, and they're my current favorites. And then I'm going to apply a brown eyeshadow to the outer half of my lower lash line just to give some depth and make my eyes look a little bigger and more doll-like. And then I'm going to go in with Soft and Gentle once again with my fingertips and apply it to the inner eye corners and also the nose bridge and my eyebrow uh, bone. Eyebrow bone? Brow bone? That's, that's it. 
just to highlight. That's what we're doing here. And now since it is the end of the look, I'm wiping the sleeping mask off and I'm applying the Iope Dual Lip Blender in the shade Burgundy. And this is a two-tone lip bar basically and it just makes the gradient lip look super easy. So that completes today's makeup look. So for outfit number one, I went with a super casual look here. This is just like my chill day look. I'm not having any plans to go on a date, so I'm just gonna stay home and watch some dramas or hang out with some friends. So I paired a hoodie and jeans with a pair of magenta velvet sneakers, and that is the look for this. I think it's like so comfy and definitely something I will wear on Valentine's Day. So anyway, moving on to outfit number two, it is the opposite. It's super dressy and chic. I paired a black cropped turtleneck with a button-up corduroy skirt and some knee-high boots and this is just super super chic and fashionable. I also put on a watch to make this whole entire look a little more put together and that is all for today's look or video. Thank you guys so so much for watching and be sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one. Happy Valentine's Day! Bye beauties! Are you ready?